can take you anywhere Turn the pages and you'll be there Come on, join us, you'll see We're reading with Kevin Lee Hi, friends, and thank you for joining me for another Read with Carolee. I am, of course, your host, Carolee, and we have an amazing author for you today. And excuse me for being a little bit <laughs> jumpy because, well, you know what? You'll see when you see the story for today. Today, we have an amazing author. But before we get to that, let's make sure that we don't miss any of the authors that we have coming by. So remember to hit subscribe and ring that bell so that you can be notified for all the authors that we have coming by. And today we have Miss Danielle Susie Mills, and she is the author of Tina Tumbles. Now, I'm sure that you would want to get on your feet and tumble along with um, Danielle and her reading this book, Tina Tumbles. Oh, I'm tongue tied today. So, Danielle, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. And we have authors from all around. So could you tell us where you're reading to us from today? I am in San Diego, California. Awesome. I am so glad that you are here. And, you know, we just had some really exciting events with the Olympics just closing. So this book is right on time. And I want to make sure that our friends get into it. So I'm going to turn it over to you to read for us Tina Tumbles. All right, Tina Tumbles. Nighttime arrived and the stars lit up in the sky. It's time for bed, Tina's mom cried, but Tina did not feel tired. Her eyes round and wide focused on the TV as she watched the gymnasts flip across the screen. Girls in shiny leotards bounced high over the vault. They swung quickly from bar to bar. From the highest bar, they turned somersaults. They danced, twisted, and flipped some more across the skinny bounce beam and all around the floor. Every move looked so easy. All of a sudden, the TV clicked off. Tina's mom pointed to the stairs. Young lady, it is way past your bedtime now, she said with a glare. Tina threw her hands to her hips. She stumped her feet on the ground. I don't want to sleep, she announced with a frown. Up the stairs, Tina flew, jumping into her bed. Instead of ducking under the cover, she stood on her head. I want to try gymnastics myself, she said. What an amazing sight it was, the world upside down. But then, Tina fell sideways onto the ground. A loud bang sound echoed down the hall. A headstand was not as easy as it seemed. Tina, her mom said, be careful, please. Tucking Tina in, she kissed her goodnight. With the flick of the switch, out went the light. The next day was bright. The sun sparked through the clouds. It's time for breakfast, Tina's mom called out. But Tina was not hungry. She wanted to try cartwheels across the couch. Up on her legs, her body spun around. Instead of landing on her feet, she bounced on her bottom. Ouch! Tina's mom rushed to her side. She patted Tina on the head. Please be cautious, my little one. Don't hurt yourself, she said. But Tina wanted to try again and again. Being upside down was just so much fun. Soon it was afternoon. The trees swayed in the breeze without a care. It's a warm, sunny day. It's time for a walk, Tina's mom declared. But Tina did not want to walk. Letting go of her mother's hand, she bounded for the swing set. There were bars on both sides. I want to fly like the gymnasts on TV and the squirrels in the tree, she cried. So she tried and she tried, but her legs slipped over her nose and she landed on her side with a giant sigh. Tina's mom picked her up and held her in her arms. It must be time for gymnastics class, my sweet pea. This time, Tina agreed. Tina's mom drove to Flyers Gymnastics. Tina wore her very own shiny leotard. With Coach Kim's help, gymnastics would not be so hard. Holding tight to her coach's hand, Tina tiptoed across the high beam. She nearly touched the sky as she bounced on the trampoline. She dumped into the pit, piled high with soft foam. There were so many things she could never try at home. Tina swung the bars, her coach guiding her feet to the mat. 
Then she saw a girl spinning cartwheel so fast. All by myself, Tina cried, I want to try that. Without a thought or a worry, she threw her legs up and then down. Before she knew it, Tina tumbled over onto the soft matted ground. Hmph, Tina said. She crossed her arms to her chest. I'll never, ever do it. Every time, I'll fall on my head. Don't be discouraged, Coach Kim said. All you need is practice and to always, always try your best. Her best? Tina had a bad feeling, but she held her arms up high. She took a deep breath and gave it another try. Kick your feet toward the ceiling, Coach Kim instructed. Squeeze your muscles tight and point your toes. You'll land on your feet with corrections like those. So Tina kicked up to the ceiling and beyond. She squeezed her muscles as tight as they would go. As hard as she could, she pointed her toes. Over she went and much to her surprise, this time, Tina landed on her feet all on her own. The end. Okay, well, that was a very great trip through Tina, Tina's tumbling and her wanting to be a gymnast. So what was your inspiration behind write, wanting to write this book? So as a kid, um, I was always um, flipping around my house, hanging upside down on my swing set. I actually have a picture of me um, at three and a half, smiling for the camera, upside down on my swing set. Oh. oh, wow. So my mom was always afraid I'd get hurt. So she actually signed me up for gymnastics. Um, so that was the inspiration for the book. My mom was also um, a really big fan of books and reading. And um, mm -hmm. she ended up um, working as a library assistant. So she was always giving me books and, and whatever. And you know, she'd say, oh, well, there are no gymnastics books. There need to be more gymnastics books. And so oh. uh, my, ch my childhood story and actually so many kids, you you'll find it, are, are inspired to do gymnastics after their parents are like, oh my gosh, I got to do something with my, my child's energy. And so they put them in the sport. And then I say they never look back. It becomes just something that you really can't live without, um, you know, uh, just a, a passion for sure. Well, has that, how far did you go with your gymnastic passion? So for me, um, I ended up um, competing in college, division three school, oh. but it wasn't always easy for me. I, I did, you know, go through a lot of fears. Gymnastics, they do really make it look easy on TV, yes. um, but it takes a lot of hard work. Um, I worked through some mental blocks, fears and whatever. Um, but the moral of the story is you fall down, you get back up, you try again. The most important part is listening to your coach's corrections because yes. I think as a kid, a lot of the time I was so afraid and sometimes I, I just, oh, I can do it. I can do it. And, and your coach has so much knowledge. And especially as a kid, you don't, maybe you don't understand that, um, that your coach is really trying to, to help you with all they've learned and, you know, in their journey through gymnastics too. So. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, um, with the, the Olympics just happening and everything um, we've had, we have so many gold medals and everything. So it does look easy for um, our gymnasts that represent the country. And there are so many gymnasts from all over the country. Um, I know I love watching uh, the UCLA gymnastics team and they, they really make it look so easy. And I wish I could do a cartwheel myself. And my sons are actually, <laughs> they're, they've been doing cartwheels ever since, even before the Olympics, but that really just really got them going. And I was like, okay, all right, just don't break anything, please. <laughs> yes, so um, I know, you know, like you said, your mom said that there weren't any gymnastics books or there weren't enough gymnastics books. So what books inspired you when you were growing up? So there was this one book that I really loved. It's called um, The Little House by Virginia Lee Burton. And okay. uh, about a little house in the country and um, it gets developed all around and the little house is in the city. Um, and eventually it's moved back to a place where it's, you know, in its natural habitat. 
And mm -hmm. I've always loved this book. Um, I think because the little house was um, down the street from where I grew up too. Oh, wow. Mary Burton um, had a little office too where she did her, her illustrations. And, and so we had actually had friends who lived in the little house for a little bit of time. So we got to visit. That oh, area. that is awesome. Oh, wow. So, you know, <laughs> just like we say, you, you never know where your author may be coming from or your, the inspiration for a book may be coming from. And they, they may be down the street from you. And in your case, they were. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. So with, you know, this is your first gymnastics book do you have any more in store yeah so i do have a couple of ideas for sequels um i'm thinking of actually putting out a coloring book oh um, awesome um it would be kind of like a coloring fact book for younger kids um all the way through older and maybe even two till age eight nine ten um but yeah, that, that should be hopefully um, coming out. Um, I don't know. We'll see this year, maybe. Okay, well, we are looking forward to it. And, you know, I commend you for putting your passion on paper. There are so many different things that we're so passionate about and we don't always see books on those subjects. So, being able to have you have that sense of mind to put your passion on paper. That is very awesome. And I know our friends at home are thankful for that because now they can go and pick up your book. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So thank you so much, Danielle, for joining us for this episode of Read with Carolee. And you can see all of the information below to see where you can find Teen the Tumbles and more information on Miss Danielle Susie Mills. So friends, thank you for joining us for another flipping <laughs> Read with Carolee and the excitement about the Olympics and I am just so glad that we're able to get into Tea to Tumbles and so glad that you've been able to be here with us today. So remember to always grab a book and read and we will see you next time on Read with Carolee. Have a great day. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of the Read with Carolee show. We have amazing authors coming by every week. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. You don't want to miss a thing.